You know, one of the things that struck me when we were talking about doing this interview is that eventually, even though you have created this company and then you create another company, uh, you are actually in the process of, of writing a book. So, not sure where you find the time to do all of these many things, but you writing this book that is called Machine Learning in Practice, and I'm always very, very fascinated by the word in practice because there is tons of theory out there but there is very little about the practice. First of all, what made you writing this book and where did you find the time to do it? <laughs> yeah, so you know, my company, InfiniML, we really provide the people, process, and technology to help um, automate enterprise business challenges with data science. And so really what we do is help companies apply machine learning inside of their companies. And what we found was, even though there's, there are a lack of data scientists, you know, there is plenty of educational material on the web um, and plenty of resources. And I've even written about many of these on my Medium blog. And what we found was lacking was when we go into inside of some of these Fortune 500 companies, the managers and executives and project managers, they really didn't have the tools or resources to understand how to apply machine learning. And in fact, it is different than traditional software development. And so we thought, well, this would actually be a good chance for us to write a book around this whole process of deploying machine learning inside of a company or adapting it to, to fit your product or help automate processes. And therefore, you know, we'll be sort of the company that wrote the book on it and it'd be a great way for us to help educate our clients as we work with them. So how does a manager evaluate a potential machine learning project in your opinion? There's a, you know, a number of factors that go into what make a good machine learning project. Uh, the first and foremost is accessibility of the data. And so you, you can't have machine learning without a good data set. Um, and generally, and this is kind of roughly speaking, but the more data that you have and the more high quality data that you have, the better opportunity you'll have for success with a machine learning project. Oftentimes companies get stuck in, hey, let's just implement, let's do something with machine learning because everybody's doing something with machine learning and they lose sight of the fact that it really needs to ultimately have a business impact. And that's what my company, InfiniML, is focused on. We don't do science experiments or you know, projects in which there's not a real business value that could be generated from it. Um, and so really you have to apply, where do you have data? You know, where do you have a problem that you can solve? Um, and then where do you have sort of an organization that can ultimately embrace and support the deployment of this? Um, and again, there's a whole set of things that probably you have to read the book when it comes out um, to see the, the, the number of things that are involved with deploying machine learning. Again, it's not like traditional software.